In today's lesson, we're going to talk about five types of content that you can post today. All right, so you know the DMO, one of the things is three, three, five, 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 three, right? Copy the DMO. If you don't have this, you can get on mlnation.com. Uh, and it is your posting three times a day. It could be in your personal post, it could be on Instagram, it could be in the group as well to help people. So, you know, content that people like is something that inspires, educates, or entertains. Okay, inspire educate, entertain. So there's five ways. I'm going to make this really quick for you. Five kind of categories that inspires, educates, or entertains. So number one is teach, right? If you're a teacher, automatically is, uh, positions you as an expert, right? You don't, you don't need to have any success to, for people to listen to, right? Teach, teach. And there's a lot of great content out there. You can Google. Actually, I was just checking out Wall Street Journal. It has something about working at home tips, right? So teach. I think mean, I've talked about that many, many times. But the second type of content is further think about your target audience and what you like to talk about, right? So, so imagine the people out there. What do they need help? I talk about working at home. Maybe they want work at home tips. Maybe they want to have a plan B. They're worried, right? Maybe they're worried about their health. You can teach something. The second thing is you can give a fact. Fact. Find a fascinating fact that uh, you found, you discovered, and you share, right? You can ask people, what do you think about this? You gotta ask for people about their opinions. Okay, find a fascinating fact. So number one, you can teach. Number two, you can find a fascinating fact. Number three, you can share a compelling story. Okay, a compelling story. And this is a huge one. People, you know, don't listen to what you say. They remember your stories. So the story doesn't necessarily need to be your story. It could be a story of someone you know, someone, your team member, your downline, your upline, anyone in your company. Share a story, right? So I'll give an example. Say someone you... Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, a top earner in your company, they are stay at home parents and there's a stay at home mom with like three kids, but she's a top earner and she's posting. I'm, I guarantee you, if she's a top earner, she's posting content up there. You don't even need to talk to her, interview her. Just find one of her lessons and share that. Like how, how this woman inspires you, right? Share a compelling story. Okay. Number four is this one. Hey, this is also always works, gets engagement, is an unpopular perspective, unpopular stance towards something. Maybe you're sharing something that is really controversial, okay? That will actually work really, really well, okay? Work really well, unpopular stance. By the way, when you share that, um, you will turn off people, but you also attract the people you want, Right, so I just got a message from someone today that a message me saying that they really appreciate me for sharing my faith on the show, right? Uh, you know, God's very important to me, and so she just like she heard a lot of people that say you shouldn't talk about certain things. And I said, well, you know what? It's really about what your heart tells you, right? And believe it or not, you're not the only one. If you believe a certain thing, if like God, or God, and your faith is very important, there's other people like you as well. You know, when you by posting it, it will turn people away. But the people who relate best to you, who will like you, it will to attract you, right? So post something that is going to be unpopular. And, and that's why people ask me, what's the type, best type of content to post? What type of subject? It's what's in your heart, right? So, so for example, I had a friend posted a great post about um, how right now, you know, during a lockdown, during coronavirus, people are not allowed to go surfing. Right, but people are allowed to go hiking, they're allowed to go running, and he just like, you know, surfing's a better exercise, and you know, these people are spreading germs, and surfing, we're not spreading germs, but hikers are breathing on each other. Now, I'll tell you, runners, hikers, probably not gonna like that post, but every surfer out there was like, yo, go, go, way to represent us. Thank you for that. Thank you for sharing that. Okay? You gotta take an unpopular stance. But speak to your crowd, and I, you know, he couldn't fake it. He had to share something else in his heart, right? Best type of content is what's in your heart. What do you like to talk about? What are your interests? Now, so we talked about number one, teaching something. Number two, a fascinating fact. Number three is compelling story. Number four is unpopular stance. And number five, it could be intriguing question, right? Intriguing question. Like how long do you think this is going to last? Or intriguing question. Like, do you think people want to go back to the old routines, right? What's an intriguing question that you can ask? Uh, again, it could be related to what you like to talk about, okay? Ask that question. Right, uh, and you guarantee you get lots of engagement feedback, and uh, uh, it'd be a very, very good post. Okay, people attracted to you. And by the way, you know when if you're reaching at the co-market and you don't not sure you're struggling, it's people they make a quick judgment on you. 
They go to the post within two, three, maximum five seconds. They look at you and they'll feel they get to know you. How do people get to know you? By looking at the content. And they'll make a decision whether they want to be with you or not. Now, if you post an un- unpopular uh, stance, right? So they may be, oh, I don't watch. I don't, I don't relate to you. But there'll be a lot of people that actually relate to you much better or like you, okay? You got to either attract or, and repel. Think about that. Am I posting this is going to attract people or repel people, right? Everyone's, so I did a post yesterday. Probably wasn't interested. A lot of people didn't interest it. Uh, I did a post about uh, Jackie Robinson, one of the, my heroes, uh, the, you know, the first African-American to play uh, baseball, right? Play professional sports. Um, and, you know, attracted a lot of people, are huge baseball fans, you know, people who saw Jackie Robinson as a hero. Attracted. Now, people who weren't interested in baseball, probably not that interested in it, right? But you attract and repel. I posted something about um, network marketing. I posted something the other day about um, about distractions, right? You got to do TikTok, the latest thing, get on the latest thing. I said, that's it's a waste of time. It's, it's, it's a waste of time and it's another, don't chase the shiny object. A lot of people like bash, oh no, that's not true. But a lot of people like, thank you for speaking up about that. We've been telling people to stay focused, right? Remember, you got to track and repel. The more repel, those are the people, by the way, you don't want. They're not interested in your business anyway, right? You're going to attract better people. You're going to create your tribe, okay? The rule is if you want to attract everyone, you want to attract no one. So five things. Number one, you're going to teach something. Number two, you're going to have a, create a fast, fascinating fact. Number three, share a story, okay? That doesn't necessarily be your story. It could be anyone's story. Number four, an un- unpopular stance. Number five, an intriguing question. And uh, so... Your action step is post one of those five. Post, think of one, and post it today. That's a great way to create engagement. And uh, it'll also let people know you a lot better, make you recruiting online much, much easier.